Hey guys, I am starting the evening off good, which is awesome. Of course, I did have to decline something. $3.06 for 3.4 miles for Jack in the Box. That is just an absolute no. You guys already know. Right after that, Uber Eats decided to send me something reasonable. $10.68 for 4.2 miles for Don Cholitos. I am here right now. Usually, at least in the past when I've gone in here, they want to know my name. They want to make sure it matches up with their tablet, which is totally fine. Um, they threw me off the first time they did that. And then I was driving to Don Cholitos and spark came through with a good one it is a 45 after the hour pickup so i will have time to get don Cholitos dropped off and time to get over to walmart to pick up the spark order but it was for 17 dollars 76 cents for 4.8 miles now it is two orders they are both at homes from the looks of it doesn't look like anything crazy should be a straightforward a good order which i love so we are rolling already we're gonna go in there and pick up this order and uh, hopefully it's ready don't look very packed here so um, typically that could be a good sign so we're gonna find out we're going in Hi, checking in an order for Eric M with Uber Eats. And that was perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Order was ready, but sure enough, she asked for my name. I was prepared for it this time. Um, they ordered themselves a fee, so let's go get it to them. Eight minutes, 2.9 miles. We are on our way. All right, guys, I have arrived to Walmart. I have checked in. There are two other cars here. One of them's getting loaded up with water. You know, the big things of water can be a driver's nightmare, especially if it's like to the third floor. So we're gonna see how long it takes me to get loaded up, keep these wheels to moving, but I made it on time after I dropped that last order off. Straightforward drop off, it was a house, so those are typically easy. One thing you do gotta remember to do when you drop an order off is make sure to confirm the address with your eyes. Sometimes the pinpoints can be off. I always double check to make sure I'm at the right address. I've had some customers leave me comments that their orders have been missed delivered so do pay attention to make sure you are dropping it off at the right location so we're gonna hang out and hopefully they'll be right out with my order all right guys I am all loaded up got the first order or one of the orders in the back seat and then the second order in the trunk the only thing is this happened to me the other day is one of the bags like had a tear in it like a hole and thank goodness I noticed it because there's like something wet in there probably produce or something that made the bag wet and there's like a hole that thing probably would have tore on me thankfully the associate that was loading my car had extra bags so i double bagged it because that would not be good taking it up there and the bag just explodes i mean everything goes all over the place and no good um i hopefully they bring back those other bags like with the handles they seemed maybe a little bit better quality um sounds like they're out of stock right now but regardless we got some bags let's go get the first order dropped off four minutes 1.1 miles The last spark drop off it got dropped off but it was confusing the customer did leave notes i had to read them a few times it seems like and i could see this happening their order getting dropped off at their neighbor's house um because their address to their place is like on the side of their neighbor's garage 
and then the neighbor's address is like on the side of their door and come to find out, I guess there's a walkway off to the side of the garage with another door. That door belongs to the address that's on the side of their neighbor's garage. Totally confusing. And when I pull up, the neighbor's screen door is open. And so I'm thinking, is this where it's supposed to go? And then they're telling me um, that I need to deliver to the door on the side finally put it together that the address off to the side of the garage belongs to the door off to the side of the, the garage. Super confusing. Got it dropped off, seen the customer grab the order. So all is well, but could totally see how another driver is delivering the order to their neighbor because it's it's confusing but i read the instructions a couple times all is well anyways it took a while it should, the, the orders just like dropped off a cliff <laughs> i finally got something but it wasn't good two dollars for 2.2 miles from uber eats and i'm like absolutely not i'm gonna hold out if not i'm gonna have to go home so finally, finally, and I've been keeping an eye on this order from Spark. It actually started off with $7 for 2.9 miles. It is one order. They're calling it an extra large order, some heavier things in there. And I'm like, I'm not gonna deliver it for $7, 2.9 miles. What if there's a wait? You could run into issues. You have to make sure it's worth your time. So over, and there's no tip, but hey, if I'm getting paid for my time, I will deliver the order. So I'm watching this order circulate. It keeps coming back. Uh, you know, it came back at $7 a few times and finally it got up to $10.73. So I will deliver it for $10.73. Again, 2.9 miles, one order. I am here right now and um, it's stating it's an ASAP pickup, which probably makes sense because nobody took it for a bit until the pay came, until the pay went up, which then I took it. So we're gonna go pull in, check in. It looks like there's one car over there right now. Hopefully it'll be right out to get this order dropped off. I'm not sure how the night's going to be. It's, you know, take what you can get. <laughs> Make sure it's worth your time though. All right, we're heading over there to check in. All right, I am all loaded up. It didn't take them very long to come out. All is well. There are some bigger items, um, but it is a house. I did forget to mention that, so it should be straightforward. We are on our way. Seven minutes, 2.6 miles. So that order took me a few trips. There was some heavier items in there. Um, the big thing of water, I'm sure you guys seen some other drinks and some heavier bags. So got it all dropped off. Thankful that it was a house rather than an apartment. That would be a pain, especially in my area. A lot of our apartments are stairs. Um, newer complexes have the elevators, but a majority of our complexes have the stairs. So that could be a real pain. So I'm going to see if I can get anything else. Of course, it's a slower night taking what I can get. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys right here. Always appreciate you guys riding along with me. I'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye guys.